An American passport has traditionally been a very coveted thing all over the world because being an American citizen has carried so many perks. Americans had the freedom to go where we wanted and say what we wanted to say. And if anything ever went sideways while overseas, all we ever had to do was reach the gates of an American embassy, and from there we would be protected by Marines. It's traditionally been a pretty sweet deal. Until the Muslims started taking over. Muslims have proven throughout history and even now that they will always be Muslims first, and obey no national law before their religion's one, and as you'll recall the religion's law is a very violent one. The Quran not only allows violence, but mandates it against many groups of people, especially those who disrespect Islam. These are the people that we are told to welcome with open arms, assuming that they just won't do what they're told, trusting that they'll risk eternal damnation to be nice to us. Anyone who considered the warnings against Muslims to be all hype was put in their place today when the State Department issued the warning for every single U.S. citizen who is now in danger since the President announced his support of Jerusalem being the capital of Israel, infuriating Muslims worldwide. Town Hall reports that the warning sent out on the 6th was the first of its kind since the start of the war in Iraq, underscore the State Department has issued the warning for U.S. citizens traveling anywhere in the world after the Trump administration announced its decision to move the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, recognizing it as the capital of Israel. Underscore, underscore the alert, posted on December 6th is a worldwide caution that asks U.S. citizens to be on high alert when traveling. Underscore, underscore as terrorist attacks, political upheaval, and violence often take place without any warning, U.S. citizens are strongly encouraged to maintain a high level of vigilance and take appropriate steps to increase their security awareness when traveling, it reads. In addition to concerns stemming from terrorism, travelers should be alert to the possibility of political unrest violence, demonstrations, and criminal activities when traveling. Country-specific information pages and travel warnings should be consulted to obtain the latest data on such threats. Underscore, underscore according to the Associated Press's longtime diplomatic correspondent, this is the first time such a warning has been released over a policy decision since 2003. When the Iraq war began. Underscore, underscore the last time the at State Dep issued a worldwide caution because of a U.S. policy decision was March 2003 at the start of the Iraq war, he said on Twitter. Underscore, this disturbing alert has caused a ripple throughout the nation, considering that it flies directly in the face of the peaceful Muslim propaganda that has been embedding itself in the hearts and minds of the gullible social justice warriors and everyone unlucky enough to be screamed at by them. The non-radical Muslim community is one that would be better named non-obedient Muslims because there's no such thing as a real Muslim who doesn't obey the Quran. If they do, they're either in denial, or they're not really a Muslim at all. This move to permanently reclaim Jerusalem has been especially problematic for those in the Middle East where the Muslims aren't making any secret of their bloodthirsty ways to the Israelis, underscore diplomatic staff in Israel meanwhile have been banned from traveling to the West Bank and Old City over Palestinian riots. Underscore, underscore with widespread calls for demonstrations beginning December 6 in Jerusalem and the West Bank. U.S. government employees and their family members are not permitted until further notice to conduct personal travel in Jerusalem's Old City and in the West Bank, to include Bethlehem and Jericho, a December 5 statement reads. Official travel by U.S. government employees in Jerusalem's Old City and in the West Bank is permitted only to conduct essential travel and with additional security measures. United States citizens should avoid areas where crowds have gathered and where there is increased police and or military presence. We recommend that U.S. citizens take into consideration these restrictions and the additional guidance contained in the Department of State's travel warning for Israel, the West Bank and Gaza when making decisions regarding their travel. Underscore, underscore while the administration is now officially recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, the embassy move will be delayed for logistical reasons. Underscore, the threat to Americans is one that must be taken seriously. If not, 
We might again be watching public beheadings being carried out by all these non-violent Muslims who apparently are just working out their issues by calling for violence against both their neighbors and Westerners. So basically anyone who's now bowing to their wishes. This most feminist friendly religion is once again terrorizing Americans the world over. But don't worry, they're the feminists and social justice warriors say Muslims are a religion of peace. I'm sure you'll have peace once your head is detached from your shoulders. H slash T, Town Hall.